Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Boy, we've got some activity on our YouTube channel tonight. One of our YouTubers that goes by the name E-A-R-P-H Bound left a comment to a reply to another YouTuber's comment to one of my videos. And I want you to hear what this person said is profound, and I believe many of you need to hear this. Amen. It was the hardest thing I ever had to do, but God healed my broken heart, so I know he can heal yours. What I realized was relationships can be idols in our lives. There is such a thing as loving someone too much. We should only reserve that type of love for God. No human deserves that spot. Once God showed me my error, I was able to put my love for my ex in its rightful spot and put Jesus back as the love of my life. Each one of us has a, a hole in our hearts that only Jesus can fill. Prayer helped me tremendously because I'm only human, and so is my ex. We all make mistakes, but God does not. He's the only one I want to hold my heart. I got to repeat that. He's the only one I want to hold my heart. I don't even trust myself with my own heart, LOL. So my ex shouldn't have had it. He didn't stand a chance. Anyways. I'll pray for your healing too. It's coming. Keep pushing forward. That's them encouraging another YouTuber that commented on the video. Now, this is what I want to say to that. I have to add Pat's two cents because I'm Gabby that way. So just bear with me. I'm going to share something with you that a lot of you don't know. You, you know my husband and I had a wonderful, phenomenal marriage. And you know God ordained it. However, you don't know the, the betwixt and between stuff. A lady and I sat in a car after a church service. This was about two years before, maybe a year and a half, before he and I got married. We sat in the car waiting on the presence of God. Church was over. I was going to the renewal services in Harvest Rock Church in Pasadena. Uh, I was visiting a church called Pastor uh, Harvest Rock Church, pastored by Pastor Cheon. Okay, I was a member of Living Waters at the time. Thank God for Pastor Fisher who told us to go to these uh, renewal services. I got tremendous, a tremendous amount of inner healing going to those. Now listen, here we are sitting in the car. <coughs> we just didn't <coughs> want to leave God's presence. <coughs> we didn't feel like God was done, excuse me. So as we're sitting there, she says, I see a bear. And I said, really? Now we had sat in silence for a while. A silence pays off when you're waiting on God. She said, I see a bear. It's a statue of a bear. I'm, I'm, I'm relaying this to what this person just said. Uh, it's a statue of a bear. And the statue is sitting on a tall uh, monument type pedestal. And down below is this opening ground that's been cemented. And then it's in the center of a, of a thick, you know, thing of woods. So I asked her, I said, do you know what it means? She said, no. So we prayed that God would tell us what it meant. And then we knew that God may not tell us together. He might tell us individually, depending upon who it was meant for. Well, it was meant for me. And after we said our goodbyes and, and adioses, I hopped in the car. She hopped in her car. I'm heading home. Holy Spirit drops all over me. I mean, I am like a blubbering idiot. And I just can't stop the tears. I'm just overwhelmed by the presence of God. And it was like, split-second revelation. 
the bear was my husband when I was dating him. He had way too much importance in my life. And in this vision, she saw the bear up on a pedestal, but then she saw the bear fall flat on its back with its feet up in the air. It wasn't broken, it was just fallen on the ground on its back, off the pedestal. God showed me that finally I had knocked my husband off the throne that only God was to take, but that I had been guilty of idol worship. I mean, I knew this person was right on target when they said that those, these relationships can be idols. It's so true. God did his healing on me. During that time, I called my then date and told him, I believe God does not want us to talk to each other anymore, so please don't call me on the phone. There was no chance of, well, maybe down the line, none of that. I just cut it cold and left it at that. That was the feeling I got. That's the way I kept it. I still prayed because I was in love with him that if God wanted me to just get my head screwed on right and if there was still a chance of us getting together later on down the road that God's sign would be a, uh, a call from him with a, a marriage proposal. Because he never thought he would ever get married again. He thought that God's uh, days of him getting married was over. Here he was blind, you know, all of that. So he pretty much had lost hope in that. Sure enough, one day he calls me. And here's the trick. When I broke up with him, as deeply in love with that man as I was, do you know because I broke up with him for God's sake? God made it easy. It was like an instant deliverance. I was still in love, but I can do without you, baby. I'm fine. I couldn't believe I did that. God enabled that in me. And one day, after about almost a year of not seeing him, he called me with a marriage proposal on his lips. And when I asked God afterwards to confirm or to wipe it out, let me know either way. I was fine. I was resolved to do it God's way. God led me to the scripture that said, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our sight. I was like, oh my God. Amongst a whole bunch of other you know, things, your land shall be married. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Anyway, and as a result, because God did the healing in me and got rid of all my neediness, and because God was on the pedestal, he was who I worshipped, not this man. At this point, it was like if something bothered him, my attitude, you talk about a pendulum shift, instead of, oh, oh, what should I do about it? No, my attitude just instantly became... You will get over it. You'll be okay. No big deal. And I didn't trip when he seemed bothered about something. Nine times, excuse me, out of ten, it was something that had nothing to do with me anyway. And I noticed I wasn't worried about it either. I mean, it was just such a healing. And as a result, we had a healthy relationship as husband and wife, rather than an emotional uh, relationship full of upheavals and drama and tears. Mm -hmm. Big difference when God fills that hole in your soul. God bless you. Thank you so much, E-A-R-P-H Bound. Thank you for sharing that. Profound.